Breaking in the WREL Live Center, we've learned that the Durham biotech company Novan is filing for bankruptcy. WREL TechWire is also reporting that it has struck a deal to sell Novan's assets for $15 million. Now, the company has been struggling. You may remember a month ago, it cut half of its workforce. Ligon Pharmaceuticals has agreed to buy Novan's assets. Novan is a pharmaceutical company that focuses on researching and developing innovative therapies for skin diseases. Well, that brings us to Money Matters this morning. It's the end of American Airlines and JetBlue's alliance. Also, fans of Call of Duty and PlayStation don't need to worry about losing access to that game. Let's get back to Mayor Bell Aver live at the NASDAQ Market Side of New York with this morning's business headlines and a look at the opening numbers. Good morning, Mayor Bell. <laughs> Hey, good morning, Ken. We're not playing games. Wall Street is coming off a winning week. As optimism grows, the Fed is making progress in bringing down inflation. All three of the major indices gained more than 2% last week. Today, investors want to see if that momentum carries over as earnings reports will start pouring in. Right now, looks like stocks are mixed. A NASDAQ is up about 62 points. The S&P up two. The Dow's down 75. American and JetBlue will end their Northeast partnership this week. The two airlines will stop selling seats on each other's flights this Friday, July 21st. The move comes after a judge ruled the partnership violated antitrust law. American and JetBlue started the alliance early in 2021 as a way to compete with Delta and United in New York and Boston. JetBlue is now focusing on its deal to buy Spirit Airlines. Microsoft and Sony have a deal to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation gaming consoles. It's a 10-year agreement to keep the video game on PlayStations after Microsoft closes its deal to buy Activision Blizzard. Activision makes the best-selling Call of Duty lineup. The future of where the games could be played has been a key point in the government's efforts to stop the Microsoft Activision deal. Both companies have been working to close the roughly $69 billion merger by tomorrow. That's the latest in biz from here. Have a great start to the week, Ken. Uh, you too, Maribel Aver, live at the NASDAQ Market Side. Maribel, thanks.